So what is up pimps, hoes and buffaloes, we are back today with another video, but this time out we have a pretty special guest, so enough from me and I think we'll pass straight over to him now. What's up lads, Oaklefish or Oakley here and uh, thank you to George for having me over on his channel. No problem man, what we're pretty much going to be doing today is those of you that follow Oakley on YouTube and on Twitter, he's a pretty big YouTuber and some people will know that he does have this little crush on a certain female called Chelsea Ferguson and what I want to do today is pretty much just sit here and ask you a few questions about where this sort of obsession forward slash crush came about. So first of all, I'm going to ask you the question of where did you find out about Chelsea Ferguson? Yeah, I think we're going to, we're going to go more towards the crush side of things and less away from the, uh, the obsession <laughs> side of things. I just want to make it clear, I am not a stalker in any sense of the word. Uh, but basically where I heard it from her was, uh, I think I was discussing boobs and bums on Twitter. And one of, my one of my followers tweeted me saying, yeah, but what about these tits? Because I said that I preferred the bum. And I looked at them and I was just like, yeah... Because normally I'm not a massive fan of fake boobs, but she's just fucking stunning. It's just like no, the, her boobs are pretty... They're, pretty, they're perfect, they're almost. Good, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, there's no lopsidedness and nice nipples. It's, it's just generally a good boob. So, yeah, we, gen we pretty much have the guy that shoots people for pornos right here. Oakley could be that guy yeah, that picks the women. Yeah, could be me. I could be the casting director. I could, I could be Rick from the backroom casting couch. Okay, well, we'll move away from that. We'll stick you as a YouTuber for now. I'm going to ask you a couple of scenarios now. Okay. If you were to see her in a nightclub, what is the first thing that you would say to her? I would say, I want to tickle your belly button from the inside. That would so you wouldn't, you thought. cut the small talk, cut the small talk straight to it. Of course, I mean, there's no, there's no other way you can go about that sort of stuff. I mean, you've got to, the amount of people that will probably be approaching her, they'll be like, oh, you're so hot, let me buy you a drink. Fuck that shit, just dive straight in with the, you know, have you got pet insurance because I'm going to destroy your pussy. That's, <laughs> that, that's the entrance you need. And then you're going to have to get okay. off and see what, see what happens. All right, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't say the same answer to the next question. If she came up to your family home, stark naked, would you invite her in? Yes. I would, I would get her in so quick. I'd probably, I'd probably just get her in my car and like drive around to some sort of like shady, you know, dark little car, car park and just try and have my way with her. Okay, so what would you say to your parents if they said, Oakley, who's this woman that you've just taken into our house? What would I say? I'd be like... This is Chelsea, and she's been stripped of her clothing. We have to provide her with shelter. And, they'd be... and what would your brother say? My brother? What would your brother say? Brothers. They'd probably... Brothers. Brothers. Yeah, they'd probably take photos and go and furiously masturbate. Oh, <laughs> even if you're in there. <laughs> <laughs> they'd, they'd just be like, yeah, this is, this is <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> All right, then. Okay, well, we've got a comment now from my girlfriend about this woman. And when I accidentally retweeted a picture of her ass, which I, obviously I said to Amy it was an accident, but um, if she does end up watching this video, darling, it was an accident, of course. <laughs> but um, she said that she is a slut with a good body, but nothing else. What would you say to that? Would you defend her or would you have to agree? Yeah, no, I'd, I'd defend her for 110%. I mean, I don't understand. Like, I personally, I put girls and boys on the same sort of, you know, equal, basically. I mean... If a guy can sleep around with 20 girls and be called a lad, a girl does the same thing, she gets called a slut. I don't agree with that. I mean, if, I, if, if it was role reversal and I could get 100,000 followers and like loads of women that want to sh like shag me because I take pictures of my cock and put it on the internet, I would definitely do that. I would be rolling in clunge and who would not like that? Which lad does not want that? I mean, obviously, True. You, you've got a girlfriend, so you can't say, yeah, oh, yeah, <laughs> I'd love yeah, to. Yeah, I'm going to have to sit on the fence. I've yeah, got to sit on the fence. But okay, then. What do you think's worse, being a prostitute or using a prostitute? Oh, that is a tough one. I think probably using... Actually, you know, to be fair, I mean, like, prostitution's legal in, like, Amsterdam and stuff. So I guess it just comes down to your religious beliefs. I mean, if you... If you don't believe if you don't believe in God and stuff like that, and you don't believe you're going to get punished for it, then you know it's it's a good way to make money, I guess. But yeah, yeah, true, true. I just wouldn't ever want to use one anywhere. It's just disgusting thinking about where those yeah, horrible it's, it's dogs have weird been. About how much cock they've probably taken. <laughs> but, <laughs> when you put it so bluntly, it's just oh no, never, never ever go to a prostitute. All right, quickly, we haven't got too long left, so I think you should just explain to us what your perfect woman is. Is it Chelsea Ferguson? Um, I'm going to say no. She's not my perfect woman because my perfect woman's already been taken up by uh, Megan Fox. Like she is just outstanding. Like she's got the perfect. Oh no, no, it's got to be Cheryl Cole. The Cheryl Cole. Bomb ratio. It's perfect. And Cheryl Cole is a dog. So no, 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 not no. Attractive no. at all. 
Okay, well, I've, I've had enough of this. You're, you're beginning to annoy me now, so I'm going to have to end this. It's got to be always Cheryl Cole over Megan Fox. But anyway, guys, I'm afraid we have come to an end. This isn't a really long dual commentary, but have you got any last words for the Buffaloes watching this video, Oakley? Team Megan. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is all. Team Megan. We'll see what people think in the comments section. But anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, do not hesitate to leave it a like rate. And if you haven't already, go over to Oakley's channel and see the amazing stuff that he posts. But anyway, guys, from both of us, we are out. Peace. Peace.